Hello, welcome to handsonsap.com. This is Hassan Mir. In this tutorial, I'll try to explain you the documentation that is created during an SAP project. Okay, so again, this is not a very comprehensive list of steps. This is a basic path that any methodology would take. Okay, so any method you uh, take or any roadmap you take to implement an SAP project it has to pass through these broad steps it could be little more steps in some methodology but here the idea is to explain you what happens uh, broadly in an implementation project okay so in the last tutorial we discussed the implementation process first a functional consultant would try to understand the business requirement of the client then SAP system would be configured accordingly then you would test the systems and end users would test the system then you will train end users and then the go live would take place where you will put the system in production now in the stage where you're trying to understand business requirements you would create a functional consultant would create a business requirements document in this document you would list all the requirements that client has uh, that client expects from an ERP system okay so each methodology would give a fancy name to this document but bottom line is that business requirement document has to be created that will get a sign off from the client because this will become the scope of your project once the requirements have been found out then all you need to do is configure the SAP system in such a way that it starts meeting these requirements for example requirement could be a check printing has to be done in such a way that electronic signatures uh, are printed off on the checks or uh, one of the requirement is that clients should be able to add different payment terms for each vendor or supplier so these are just basic examples okay now this will be a huge list of the requirements that should be matched by the SAP system so this is going to be the first document coming out of the stage first stage then another document that comes out of this first stage of understanding business requirement is called business process mapping all you do in this document is you try to map the requirement that you have already uh, found out to an SAP process okay so you have to explain that okay these are the requirements of the client would they be meet uh, would they be met by the SAP system or not okay for example you can say okay this requirement one would be uh, fulfilled by an SAP feature uh, by, by this SAP feature requirement two would also be fulfilled by the same SAP feature and requirement three would be fu fulfilled by some other SAP feature this could be a report this could be a form this could be a program or simply this could be a functionality or you know or any uh, any feature in SAP that would fulfill this requirement there could be few requirements that will not be fulfilled by the SAP system they could be very unique requirements and simply those are requirements are called gaps which are not fulfilled by the SAP system or any other ERP system okay now gaps how are they treated either you will try to find a work workarounds for the gaps like workarounds are functionality in SAP that is mainly intended for some other purpose but maybe you can use that to fill your gaps or not maybe completely but to some extent or you can write extensions or uh, your own custom made applications to fill those gaps or you can purchase some third party applications okay so the concept is called extension you write your own application you're extending the uh, software now or you can do the recoding of SAP which is not really supported by the SAP but you have to really uh, be very cautious if you want to go through this step so these are the different options to fill the gaps so that's what the business process mapping document is it gives you a picture like after your configuration of SAP all these requirements would be mapped uh, would be mapped except for these requirements which would be gaps now from stage 2 when you configure the system a very important document comes out from functional consultants it's called configuration document what this document is basically it shows you how to configure the system so you should be able to follow all these steps 
and you should be able to configure a brand new system back to the same state so that's what configuration document is uh, so when consultants leave some other support person comes in that person should be able to see configuration document just in case if new system needs to be reconfigured uh, from scratch so this is a very important document it does not make sense that you just configure the system and you run away without leaving any document of how to reconfigure the system for a new person it will be a very difficult jo job to re engine to reverse engineer the document by looking at the configurations okay so that's going to be a very bad practice you need to leave a configuration document now every any methodology that you follow for an ERP implementation would have a step of creating a configuration document before you actually configure the system you will have to create a configuration document so based on that you can configure the system now once you have configured the system you need to test the system before you test the system a functional consultant would create a test script okay or maybe a testing department could create that as well but functional consultant definitely needs to be involved in that test scripts are not really technical or programming script or anything like that they're simply steps in a human language where you go go to that screen and enter this data and this should be the output and this should be the input and uh, you know what is the expected output if the output is not uh, uh, what you're seeing is not really uh, the right output then how do you know it's not the right output etc etc okay so test scripts is basically again list of steps that you follow to do the testing and also uh, it tells you how to see if your output of reports and the forms is up to the expectations or not so once the testing is done you go to the training stage and here uh, a business procedure document has to be created a consultant could create this document or uh, maybe some temporary staff could create this document as well but it has to be created what is a business procedure document it simply tells the end users what would be the steps they need to follow to uh, to complete procedures business procedure for example invoice entry could be one business procedure journal entry could be another business procedure posting data could be another business procedure so what would be the exact steps that you need to follow so anybody should be able to read these steps and perform the business procedure so it's called a business procedure document it's very good practice to create that as well so you will use the same document for training and you will use the same document after go live to train end users and uh, also to help them out in their day-to-day -day tasks so uh, this is a summary of the documents under the from stage one understanding business requirements two documents would come out business requirements documents and business process mapping document from the configuration stage configuration document would come out from the testing stage you will create a test script and uh, in the training stage you're going to create business procedure documents so again this is not a comprehensive list uh, some methodologies could go very fancy and they would have like 10 times more steps but this is a basic skeleton for any implementation uh, methodology it has to go through these it may have more documents but every methodology would have these basic documents okay so for new uh, learners this is just to give you an idea what a implementation project and processes looks like so these are the basic tasks in an implementation project and these are the documents that come out of implementation uh, project okay so that that's pretty much it for this tutorial and i see you in my next tutorial